the goal is to slay effortlessly to look good effortlessly period <music> hi loves welcome back to my channel thanks so much to all of you that subscribed and watched my introduction video it truly means a lot to me and thank you for coming back to watch my second video if you're new here my name is jackie and i'm a model content creator please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel it will mean a lot to me thank you so in today's video like the title already mentioned i'm going to be talking about tips i'm going to be sharing tips rather sharing tips on how to look classy and look beautiful on a budget yeah especially if you're a 20 something year old living in nigeria like me i mean slaying looking classy looking beautiful is a constant and we are all stressed in this country the hassle is real but we're still gonna look good you know look good you know so yeah if you're interested in this video then you definitely want to keep watching right now so yeah firstly i'm going to define budget and it means a sum of money allocated for a particular purpose so your fashion budget in this term means a sum of money allocated for your fashion needs your appearances how you look and all of that so i'm sure you're wondering right now how do i optimize my fashion budget to make sure i come out looking beautiful looking classy slaying souls who and maybe sometimes even looking expensive without people knowing that oh i bought this for so so amount on the budget and all of that so that brings me to my first tip tip number one is knowledge guys let me break it down when i say knowledge you have to like know what you need i said need no want. know what you need because when you're working with a budget you have to like have a need you don't have to maybe feed your wants or satisfy your wants because i mean you're on a budget you're not ali kodan <laughs> or you're not the daughter of a ten dollars so yeah you have to know your needs before going into a fashion store know the things that suits you know the color of clothes you want to get know the particular thing you want for yourself so don't just go in buying trends and maybe because a is buying or because that influencer on social media is buying it then i should buy it no please know your needs and act accordingly my second tip guys is pay attention to details when you're buying something when you're shopping pay attention to the details of what you're buying if you're buying a dress me i look out for the finishing the sewing of the dress the top or whatever i'm getting you know the quality the designer whatever it is guys just pay attention also pay attention to the colors maybe if it's that one that can fade you know there are colors that you see and you automatically know that oh this one is going to fade though so yeah just pay attention to the details of the dress whatever you're buying that heel look around the soles to know if it suits you know if it's going to last you a long time also whether you're buying pieces that are expensive or items that are expensive or you're buying pieces that are on sales it's really important that you go for quality over quantity guys really really important because if you don't you're just going to end up piling clothes that don't have quality and just keeping them there and you end up not wearing it whenever you open your closet or wardrobe you just say oh god i don't have clothes so yeah you really don't want that just let me know guys in the comment section down below if you would want me to do a detailed video of what you would look out for when you're shopping you know when you go on shopping what you should look out for just let me know and i'll work on making a video like that one so yeah this brings me to the um third tip and that's investing in basic wardrobe essentials more like investing in classic pieces you know they are really pieces that are timeless like whenever you bring them out they still serve and they can be multi-styled like these are like my go-to pieces whenever i'm shopping i always go for pieces that i can style in multiple ways because i can't be buying stuff and putting it in my wardrobe and just end up wearing it once that can't be me brah it can't be me so yeah whenever you're buying stuff if you're planning to go for shopping anytime soon make sure you go for those if you don't have that white shirt the turtlenecks blazers white um 
white tees black heels nude heels you know you should go for all of those they are really like classics they will never go out of style so you really don't want to be going going to shop for trends all the time you should go for pieces that are timeless and these are also known as basic pieces because you can style them in multiple ways do this and thank me later guys so this brings me to my fourth tip and that is invest in fashion accessories guys i am not saying go and be lord of the rings nah bro nah all i'm saying is invest in fashion accessories that you truly truly love and you would feel confident in yeah jewelry is important you know they elevate your looks they can take your looks from they can take a look from maybe 50 to 100 yeah like i do right now if i take off this um earrings that i'm wearing and this necklace and probably this ring and wristwatch you know this would just be like a doll look you get this already made them more pronounced and elevated the look so yeah invest in fashion accessories fashion accessories also include sunshades sunglasses yeah i really love those sunglasses they are really i have like two that i always wear you know i have other ones but these two serve any look anytime any day you get and i also have hearts i i have um bags i have you know just invest in beautiful and the good thing about this fashion accessories is that you can really find um cheap and really cute ones to buy you don't necessarily have to buy gold or silver or others expensive designers no we are we are trying to slay on the budget remember so yeah invest in fashion accessories they will really really elevate your look so guys my fifth tip is thrift shopping i know a lot of us wouldn't even want to hear this one because hmm, when people say they thrift shop it basically means they buy <laughs> okurika that's like what some people view it as but i think over the years that has um transformed it's no longer buying just okurika you know thrift shopping has really been really helpful for me growing up i don't know for some reasons i don't know why my mom didn't really like she didn't really like us wearing okurika anyway so i always found buying thrifted clothes to you know be somehow but yeah as i grew up i learned the best way to um shop for thrifted pieces and i have a couple of clothes that i wore in my um social media i, I wore out and i posted pictures of them on social media and people were like oh where did you get your dress from oh i really love it one is this um i'm going to post i'm going to attach the photo this red gown that i was wearing here for a picnic also this blue one that i paired with this afro hair they were both thrifted and some others that maybe i haven't really taken pictures with so guys thrift shopping really comes in handy especially if you're trying to invest in um buying casual everyday pieces you know like that's what i do me clothes that i wear to maybe church or events i don't like to thrift buy them but yeah my secret to um thrift shopping is actually i love to look out for designers when i'm buying thrifted pieces like i look out because i have some clothes top shop pretty little thing i see them i don't know why they are always in thrifted um thrift shops you get so i always look out for those ones so yeah so that's basically it guys invest in thrift shopping especially if you're a student because you don't want to go and buy chanel and um lv to wear them to class nah so yeah so this also brings me to like my sixth tip and that's confidence guys confidence i cannot overemphasize on what confidence does to a person yeah if you like buy channel buy um all the big designers in the whole wide world if you do not have confidence bro sis you're still not gonna feel good about yourself you're still not going to look classy like you're not going to do it effortlessly you know so that's why i always say comfort in fashion is very very important 
I see people going for things they don't even like, buying things they don't even like, just to, you know, I don't know, portray something that they are not or portray someone else's style on, on social media. And it really doesn't even make sense because you're going to go to a place and you're going to feel good about yourself. And somehow the way you feel automatically makes people feel that same way about you. So if you don't feel good about yourself, people are not going to feel good about you. I don't know that's just how it works if you feel good about yourself if you walk into a room and step into a room head high you know in all confidence guy you're going to really really make people stare like you're going to stop that shoe and be, people will be like who's that girl that just walked in so guys you really really have to own it if after all these tips and you apply them and you don't still have confidence you're going to feel woefully you know the goal is to slay effortlessly to look good effortlessly period <laughs> so guys my last tip has to be pay attention to your physical appearance oh my goodness this is next this this and confidence they work together like Imagine going to an event or going out. Why do I even always say event? Even when you want to just step out to get something, you should look presentable because you don't even know who you're going to meet, guys. You don't know who you're going to see. And it's the day that you don't even look presentable. This thing happens to me a lot. <laughs> I'm like, am I not just going down to go get something down there? Like, I beg, just go anyhow. But... Is that day that you meet your social media friends? Is still that day that you now see people that oh I don't even know that's the day that people will now guys will now be stopping you. I don't even understand. <laughs> but yeah, guys, pay attention to your physical appearance, iron your clothes, fix that fallen button. Don't try to manage it, don't try to go out with it to you know manage. Please, that's not even in our, our slang dictionary, you know you know so clean your shoes fix your nails if you don't fix your nails like me i don't really do my nails all the time keep them short and neat do your hair nicely you know wear what fits you don't go about wearing tight stuff or short stuff because someone else is doing it always make sure you're wearing something that you're comfortable in that's like my number one key to being confident and being classy always guys i'm revealing my big secrets to you all so you better like this video and share it please so yeah and i hope with these tips of mine i've come to the end of the video obviously with these tips of mine you're able to slay effortlessly from now onwards and you know when you're buying stuff you pay attention more and only get and purchase things that you truly truly need you know you act, you you would really really thank me later if you do these things yeah so let me know your best tip in this video or if you have any tip for me i would definitely love to read it i would love to see it in the comment section please comment someone else too it might be helpful to them you know so thank you all so much for watching till the end you guys are the real mvps like this channel is absolutely nothing without you all and because this is like my first official content like i'm blowing you all kisses <laughs> thank you all so much do like this video subscribe if you're seeing this video right now and also don't forget to share share Follow me on my other social media platforms, Jackie Damsel on Instagram, Jackie Damsel on Twitter, Jackie Damsel on Clubhouse, in fact, Jackie Damsel everywhere. I'll definitely follow back. So, bye guys. See you in my next video.